Next item also came from the Goodwill bins. And I've had people say, oh, you can't find plush that sell for more than 10 or $15. That is absolutely false. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Let's talk about my big money bolos. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, most of these items I sourced super cheap. Um, I think you guys are going to be impressed. Um, yeah, I like to source cheap. So these are the big monies. If you want to see my bread and butters, I also have videos on those. Bread and butter are things that I sold for $35 or less. These items I sold for $35 or more. Most of them are in the higher range. All right, let's get started with the first item here. And this is a Veggie Tales. Anytime I see Veggie Tales, I pick it up. It is like a no-brainer to me. These are Christian-based, so they were not mass-produced. They are harder to find. And this one is Bedtime Larry, Thankful Larry. And I got him at the Goodwill Bins, which is where I go and I source by the pound, $1.89 a pound at the Goodwill Bins, where I'm at. I have videos showing you me sourcing at these places and it is so fun and they are incredible and I pop up screenshots of how I listed everything so I keep it educational for you guys too so go check out some of my Goodwill Benz videos this one is in one of those videos I can't tell you which one I ended up selling this for $42.25 plus shipping so at $1.89 a pound I probably had about three bucks in this guy the next item is this vintage 1986 popple it is a popples um i don't know if you guys know about these but they are super cool they actually fold up into <laughs> they actually fold up into a ball and this one actually came with the bottle so that is incredible i uh took a best offer of 75 dollars on this and the buyer was all in for 96.90 i got this out of a plush dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And this was a gift to me from Noel Farm Girl Scavenger. I will link them both down in... Oh my goodness. I will list them both down in the description of the video. Donatella Bottolino uh, sells to resellers and it's a great place to get inventory. And Noel Farm Girl Scavenger, she has an awesome reseller channel. So definitely sub them both up. But this guy right here definitely a bolo. The next item are these vintage Baldwin polished brass chamber stick candlestick holders. And I had four of these. So I just decided to lot them up and sell them together. Got them at a garage sale for a buck and I sold them for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. This is a Telco Motionettes Christmas Girl animated figure continuous motion doll. And actually, if you go over to Got Junk in Our Trunk, she just did a video on vintage Christmas. Go check out that video. I will link her down below as well. Awesome YouTube channel. I picked this up for $1 at a garage sale and I sold her for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item also came from the Goodwill bins. And I've had people say, oh, you can't find plush that sell for more than 10 or $15. That is absolutely false. Now, is plush long tail? Yes, it can be long tail. But there are some big money plush out there. Check out this. This is an Infanti Infantino Blanky Pal. I could not find another one like it. It's incredible. I guess you like put something in it. It's like, maybe take it with you to grandma's house. I don't know. But anyway, this one right here, I got at the Goodwill bins and I took a best offer of $64 and the buyer paid shipping on that one. This right here is Wendell August. I did a whole video on these. This was a bolo I did not know about. I went to a garage sale and I picked up a whole bunch of these. Some of them are this color, uh, the bronze and other are silver. And these have done amazing. They have flown out of my store. Just an incredible bolo. They are marked on the back like this, Wendell August. If you see Wendell August, look it up. All right. I sold this light plate uh, for $45 plus shipping. Got it at a garage sale for a buck. 
This is a skunk. And I recently did a video on realistic looking animals. And usually it's the pets like the dogs or the cats that go for big money. This is a skunk. It's made by Jag, J-A-A-G. And I sold this for $45 plus shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for $1. And he's cool. He is definitely cool. And this is what the tag looks like. The next item here is a mixed lot of 60 pens. And actually, this was purchased by Amazing Steals and Deals, Christopher I by Chit. Thank you so much for your purchase. I will also link him down in the description along with his eBay store if you guys want to check it out. He has amazing items. He is also a big money bolo finder. I have featured his store before. Oh my goodness, just incredible things that he finds. But he picked this up from me for $54 plus shipping. So Christopher, thank you. I appreciate your purchase. And this is his um, eBay store. And when I tell you he has really cool stuff, he does. And it ranges from bread and butter to big money, but he is a big money bolo finder. He is one of my bolo buddies members. So you will see him featured in a lot of my videos and you will see some of the stuff he sells, but definitely check out his store. And if you click on the little heart at the top, that will uh, save the seller for you and you can follow them. And when they list new things, you'll get notifications. But if they run sales or have coupons, you'll also get notifications. So be sure you're following um, the people that I mentioned. This one I picked up pretty much because of Primetime Treasure Hunter and Mindful Recycle, two awesome, amazing YouTube channels. Um, they pick up these things that are encased in, I don't even know what this is called. It's kind of in a, a box set. So Primetime Treasure Hunter talks about these all the time. And Terry Mindful Recycle has sold so many of these for crazy money that I was like, I'm just going to grab it. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's a buck. I'm just going to grab it. I sold it for $49.60 plus shipping. This also flew out of my store. It sold so fast. So, and it's got the cool little magnifying glass at the top. Now, is this exactly what they sell? No, but it's encased in a box set and that's what I was looking for. So I will link them down below as well. This came from a, um, a viewer sent me a gift box, a box. It was a mystery box and I did an unboxing on my channel. I don't know which video is going to come first, but this is one of the items that I sold. It was a lot of Barbie clothes and most of them were, I did pick out some of the older vintage black label items and you'll see those in that video that I sold separately, but I decided to lot all of these together because it was just overwhelming. It was incredible what she sent me. Um, I sold this for auction style, $39.99 plus shipping and more than likely a reseller was buying this. Some of the items were TLC and I just don't have time to mend and get stains out and fix things. That's just not for me. So um, pass that one along to someone else who has the time and I made a nice little profit on it. Oh my goodness, $5 at a garage sale. This is a Tiffany and Company ornament made in Italy with the original box. I could not even believe my eyes when I saw it for $5. I sold this for a best offer of $175 plus shipping. And of course, this sold very quickly. The next item is this Hallmark Keepsake Nightmare Before Christmas. If you guys ever see the Nightmare Before Christmas series, pick them up. I have sold quite a few in the $40 range. Some of them, I got a whole bunch of these out of a thrift store mystery box and most of them flew out of my store really quick. This one hung around a little bit longer, but I sold it for a full asking price of $37.20 plus shipping. With my thrift store mystery boxes, by the time I take out what I'm going to list and keep, you know, my cost of goods is usually pretty low because I will find enough out of that box and based on what I bought it for, and then I just divide it out. So probably had a buck or two in this. This here came from an estate sale and it was an estate clean out. This is just the top, the quilt top only. And I took a best offer of $90 for this and the buyer was all in for $100.85. This item was just thrown in to my purchase. So I guess if I divide it all out, I could figure out a cost of goods, but it probably wasn't much. Um, I kind of consider it free because they just threw it in. 
but however you want to look at it. All right. So this is that Jersey and I sold both of these jerseys and the buyer didn't pay. So I relisted both of these jerseys and this one actually sold the first time on auction, I think for like $30. And I was like, oh my goodness, did I mess up? Uh, um, and then they didn't pay. So I relisted it and it sold for $150. So I was really happy about that. But the other jersey is still listed and I have the whole story in a video. Um, but the other one that they didn't pay for, I think it sold in the $150 range and that one is still listed. So it was really weird. When I got the offer for $150, I assumed it was for the other one, but it wasn't. So who knows? Crazy eBay, right? Um, and that also came from that same estate. This is a snake serpent choker necklace. And you guys, it's missing the end piece. So it's not even complete. Anytime you have costume jewelry that looks like a snake or an animal, a lot of times people collect those items and they want them. This came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry. Oh my goodness. If you go way back on my channel, you can see that whole series. I'm still not done going through it. I have probably a tote and a half. Um, that I haven't gone through. I also have tons that I did videos with Moonstone Mamas. She came onto my channel and helped me identify the stones. Um, so those are super educational. You'll have to go back, back, back on the channel to find those, but type in Bolo Buddies Moonstone Mamas and you will definitely learn about stones, okay? But all of that stuff is sitting in my money pile. I may be bringing it to whatnot. I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna do that yet because it's not doing any good just sitting in my money pile. Speaking of whatnot, uh, I do plan to do jewelry because I have probably, um, I, I don't know, probably 300 pounds of jewelry that I need to sell. And I just never seem to get to it because it's small and it's just pushed to the side. So um, if you're interested in jewelry or following me on whatnot, there is a link down in the description. If you join with my link, you'll get $15 to shop. And if you're already on Whatnot, you can use that link. Um, it is a referral link uh, to just go over and follow me. I'm Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. So hope to see you there. And if you want to sell on Whatnot, there's also a referral link down below that you can click on if you want to sell. And that will tell them that I referred you. And from what I hear, there's a better chance that you will get accepted quicker um, with that referral link. So those are down below. All right. So... The next item I picked up at the Goodwill Benz. If you watched my video, um, I ran out of juice in my phone. My phone completely went out, so I had no footage. So I went back to my car and I plugged in and I did a video from my shopping cart. This was one of the items. Um, $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill Benz. And I sold this for $48.75 plus shipping. The next item are these cat's meow. Uh, it's a village. Uh, these are an Ohio lot. So all of the items on the back say Ohio. And these took a while to sell. I pick these up when I see them, but I hate listing them. You guys know how you have items that you're just not like, it's not fun to list. This is one of those items for me, but I always source them so cheap and I know that they sell. I even part them out and they do really well parted out as well, but I sold these in a lot. Uh, picked them up at a garage sale on a big bulk buy. I sold these for $55 plus shipping. The next item are these Stay Tight Hair Clip Barrettes. Now, these do not say goodie on them. If they did, they would have sold for more. Um, these are the two inch. The ones that you want are the three inch. The three inch goodie that look like this are the ones that are going to go for big money. I did sell these for $40. Uh, there's five of them here. They are two inch. They are the stay tight. But um, again, not marked. If anybody knows anything about vintage hair accessories, are some of the barrettes not marked goodie? Some of the older ones, like could these be goodie? Because they look very, very similar. So the buyer uh, paid shipping and tax on that. The next item is this vintage Mega Blocks Cactus Town um, replacement blocks. I parted this out. I sold um, the figures and the animals separately because it was incomplete. I ended up selling this for $40 plus shipping. It went internationally and I got it at a garage sale. 
By the time I parted it out, my cost of goods for this part was about a dollar. An Avon advent calendar. If you missed my video about advent calendars, it is a Bolo category video. Definitely go watch that because Avon is one of them, but there are a lot of advent calendars that go for big money and you definitely want to know about those. I ended up taking a best offer of $120 on this and the buyer paid shipping. Here's the little mouse. If you watch my video, you are gonna see that I undersold my item. Why did I do that? because I got it for a buck at a garage sale and somebody offered me 120, so I just went ahead and took it. Could I have held out for the full asking price? Yeah, I could have. So 120 bucks, a buyer paid tax and shipping. The next item are these dinosaur train interacting talking toys, buddy tank, tiny PBS kids. So these are interactive and they will talk back and forth. And I do have a video on my reseller testing Bolo products that shows how that works. It's great to put a video in the description. I know that eBay now offers the option to put a video up in the listing. Um, I am still using YouTube. That's just how I prefer to do it. Um, I like it down in the description and tidy, but uh, yeah, definitely add a video to your description, whether you do it the way I do it or the way um, that eBay offers, uh, that is a newer feature. So definitely check it out. All right, you guys, that was 22 big money bolos. Let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, those dinosaurs, I forgot to tell you, I paid $5 at a garage sale for those and they sold for $45. The buyer was all in for $59.31. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And turn on that bell if you want to get notifications when I post new videos. Leave me an emoji of a heart down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> I just take a drink of water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's start over.